Good day, Trainians, especially to the students under Rock Servicing Dome Rock NC2. Welcome to another fun field and exciting way of learning here in our class on screen. I am your teacher tech, Jurix Nakahara of Tagum National Trade School. Join me as I take you to another techno-amazing lesson here in Rock Servicing. Please make sure that you are comfortably seated and you have with you your paper and pen so that you could take down notes of the important details for today's lesson. Our lesson for today is all about evacuating refrigeration system. Objectives Explain the three means of evacuating refrigeration system Demonstrate the proper procedures in evacuating refrigeration system Value the importance of safety in evacuating refrigeration system Direction Read each question carefully and select the letter that corresponds to the correct answer Write your answer in your paper and mark pre-test this is just to test your prior knowledge about the lesson. Question number one. It is the process of removing air and moisture inside the refrigeration system. I repeat, it is the process of removing air and moisture inside the refrigeration system. A. Evacuation B. Charging C. Flashing D. Purging And the correct answer is letter A, evacuation. Question number two. It refers to the equipment used in evacuating refrigeration system. I repeat, it refers to the equipment used in evacuating refrigeration system. A, manifold gauge. B, vacuum pump. C. Fan motor D. Air compressor And the correct answer is B. Vacuum pump motor Question number 3 A low pressure gauge is calibrated from 0 to 250 PSI this gauge is also known as what? I repeat, a low pressure gauge is calibrated from 0 to 250 PSI. This gauge is also known as A. High pressure gauge B. Compound gauge C. Wire gauge D. Filler gauge The correct answer is B. Compound gauge Question number 4. What do you call the yellow hose of the manifold gauge? I repeat, what do you call the yellow hose of the manifold gauge? A. Service hose B. Compound hose C. High pressure hose D. Low pressure hose The correct answer is A. Service hose. Question number 5. What is a perfect vacuum inch mercury? What is a perfect vacuum inch mercury? A. 10 inch of mercury. B. 15 inch of mercury. C. 29.9 inch of mercury. Or D. 5 inch of mercury And the correct answer is 29.9 inch of mercury
What is evacuation? Evacuation is the process of removing air, moisture, and non-condensable gases inside the refrigeration system. As you see here, air and moisture are extracted by the use of a vacuum pump motor. Those air and moisture is taken from the unit. Now, we have three means of evacuation. What are those? First is we have the normal evacuation. Normal evacuation is done within 15 to 30 minutes. And normal evacuation is applicable in chest-type freezer, upright freezer, and domestic refrigerators. Both freezers and refrigerators, the evacuation is done for about 15 to 20 minutes. Normal evacuation is also applicable to window-type air conditioners of different horsepower ratings. Normally, in normal evacuation of window type air conditioner, evacuation is done for about 20 to 30 minutes. Number two, deep evacuation. It is usually done within 45 minutes to an hour. Deep evacuation is usually done when copper pipes of the system underwent several fresh braced connection and the last one is triple evacuation a means of dehydrating refrigerant tubing in a system that has high moisture content you are about to evacuate the unit for 45 minutes to 1 hour until it reaches 29.9 inch of mercury. Then, you are going to charge the unit again with the refrigerant or the nitrogen for about 5 to 20 PSIG. So after breaking the, the evacuation, you have to charge the unit and then evacuate the unit again for about 45 minutes to 1 hour until it reaches 29.9 inch of mercury vacuum. In triple evacuation, you may repeat the process all over again if you think that it is not enough yet. System Evacuation Step number 1. Prepare all the needed tools, equipment, and materials. Vacuum Pump Motor Manifold gauge Extension wire Personal protective equipment Working gloves and eye protector Your safety is our number one priority Step number two Set up the vacuum pump motor to the unit. Connect the manifold hoses accordingly. We have here three hoses. Low pressure hose is the blue one. And the yellow hose is known as service hose. 
and the red hose is known as high pressure hose. Take the low pressure hose and connect it to the charging line. Tighten the coupler by turning clockwise. Next is connect the service hose to the vacuum pump inlet port. Tighten the coupler again by turning clockwise. Take the high pressure hose. Since it is not being used, all you need to do is to secure the high pressure hose to the manifold hanger. Tighten the coupler into the manifold hanger. Now, let us review the hose connection. The compound hose is connected to the charging line. The service hose is connected to the pump inlet port and the high pressure hose retains on its hanger since it is unused step number three plug in the vacuum pump motor to the outlet take the vacuum pump plug and insert it to the outlet note be sure that your hand or your gloves is not wet to avoid electric shock. Step number 4. Switch on the vacuum pump motor. Note, be sure to turn off the refrigerator, freezer, or aircon unit before running the vacuum pump. Turn on the vacuum pump switch. Step number 5. Fully open the low pressure hand valve. This is the low pressure hand valve. Fully open it by turning counterclockwise. As you see here, if you open the low pressure hand valve, it allows to reject the air and moisture from the system since it allows access into the inlet port of the vacuum pump. Step number 6. Run the vacuum pump motor for 15 to 20 minutes. Now as you run the vacuum pump motor, it absorbs or extracts the air and the moisture as you see in the video. All you need to do is to run the motor for 15 to 30 minutes until it reaches 29.9 inch of mercury. And you will see it in your gauge manifold in the compound gauge. number seven close the low pressure hand valve after 15 to 20 minutes of evacuation this is the low pressure hand valve turn it clockwise to close it step number eight Switch off the vacuum pump motor after closing the low pressure hand valve.
Step number 9. Do not detach the gauge yet. Observe the compound gauge for about 5 to 10 minutes. After turning off the vacuum pump and closing the low pressure hand valve, all you need to do is to observe the gauge. And here's what you will see. You will see here that the unit is being evacuated into 29.9 inch of mercury, which is known as perfect vacuum. If the pointer stays at 29.9 inch of mercury during 5 to 10 minutes gauge observation, then the system or the system has no leak. It is an indication that the system is now ready for charging. On the other side, please take note also that if the pointer moves up, it means there is a leak. Direction Read its question carefully and select the letter that corresponds to the correct answer. Write the answer in your activity notebook and mark post-test. This is to test how much you have learned today, so kindly answer it honestly. Question number one. What do you call the other known term for low pressure gauge? I repeat, what do you call the other known term for low pressure gauge? A. Compound gauge B. Service gauge C. Cumulative gauge or D. Wire gauge Question number 2 What do you call the evacuation that takes 15 to 30 minutes? I repeat what do you call the evacuation that takes 15 to 30 minutes? A. Normal evacuation B. Deep evacuation C. Triple evacuation D. None of the above Question number 3 29.9 inch of mercury is also known as I repeat 29.9 inch of mercury is also known as A. Absolute vacuum B. Triple vacuum C. Perfect vacuum or D. Deep vacuum Question number 4 What do you call the yellow hose of the manifold gauge? I repeat what do you call the yellow hose of the manifold gauge? A. Service hose B. Compound hose C. High pressure hose or D. Low pressure hose Question number 5 What elements are being removed from the system during evacuation? I repeat, what elements are being removed from the system during evacuation? A. Fire and smoke B. Mercury and water C. Air, non-condensable gases and moisture Or D. None of the above Let us check your answers
Thank you so much for your active engagement. I do hope that you got all the items right. This has been Sir Jorix Nakahara, your teacher tech in Rock Servicing Domrock in C2, leaving you with a quote. Never stop learning because life never stop teaching. <laughs>